All right, so this comes with a recharging cable, a lanyard, a spare O-ring, instruction booklet, and a lithium-ion battery. Now this one they're calling the Frost White, which has a micro-arc oxidation finish. Here are the stats on the flashlight. So maximum beam distance, 450 meters. Maximum lumens, 10,000. And you see the run times there as well. Now this flashlight is capable of cool white, warm white, and multiple color options. Yeah, this just has uh, so many good features, right? Type-C recharging, look at the capacity of that battery. Yeah, this thing is a beast. This light comes with a 32650 lithium-ion battery. To access that battery, just unscrew that tail cap that you see there, and look at the capacity of that battery. This is going to give the light incredible endurance. So now this is recharging. That is a power bank, right? So this is Type-C to USB recharging, and it is flashing red as it is recharging. When it is fully charged, that will be green. This is also capable of a discharge function. In other words, this itself can function as a power bank. So if you had some device with a USB port that needed charging, this could actually charge it from its battery. So you notice it has a ring here for the lanyard, right? It's got texture there for grip. You can definitely, definitely tail stand this, right? It has cutouts here. So if it was like that, you would be able to see if it was on. It's operated by a side switch, has baffles here to increase surface area, helps dissipate heat. That is the charging port. All right, so that's the light. It's got three main emitters. You see the smooth reflector wells there. And then it has other LEDs for the colored light modes. All right, so overall, this thing looks awesome. Somebody was asking me if there's any sort of practical use to this type of finish. Well, I mean, just being a lighter color, it makes this a lot easier to find if, if the lights go out and you're in a, a semi-dark room. This is a bit more reflective, so yeah, I mean, a lighter color, it's easier to, uh, easier to see in the dark. Yeah, I was joking around that all my lights from now on are going to have this type of finish. I was joking, but... Not entirely. I really do prefer the look of this, right? So when I can, yes, I will get that type of finish. Somebody was saying, I've never seen a white flashlight before. Well, yeah, these have cropped up in the last few years. Pretty cool. Operation of the light. To lock the light, you press this four times. One, two, three, four. All right, so it will flash to indicate that it is locked. So this is now locked. Now, if you're not using the light for more than a minute, it will automatically lock itself. But no matter how it got locked, the way to unlock it is to press it again four times. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we are in the main mode. Now in the main mode, if you want to turn it off, long press. If you want to turn it on, long press. If you want to cycle through the first four brightness levels, that will just be subsequent presses. All right, so that's echo, low, medium, and high. Now, from the main mode, if you want to get to the turbo, the strobe, the SOS, you do that with double taps, right? So double tap for turbo, and warning, this is going to flash. All right, there's turbo, there's strobe, and that's SOS. All right, so those are all double taps. Now, if you want to shortcut to the colorful modes, triple tap, right? So one, two, three. All right, so now this is in different colorful modes, but subsequent presses will cycle through all the different colored modes, right? Okay, so now I have it set to cycle through all the colors. All right, so let's, so we started with that pink color, and now it's going through every color that it can do. And it also has some special effects modes, but let's just check out all the colors first. Hope you're all doing well these days. Okay, so pink again. So we cycled through all the colors. There it is. Wow. All right. 
Yeah, I definitely like that. Wow, I mean, we had nothing like this when when I was a when I was a kid. So that's that one. And here is another of the special effects modes. So it's kind of like roulette wheel and it goes through all the colors of its spectrum in that. All right, so this is just some of the crazy stuff that this light can do. I consider these to just be extra kind of bonus features. Now from the color light modes, if you triple tap, it will go to warm white. All right, so one, two, three. All right, so that is warm white. At this time, I'm going to roll in some footage from the demonstration board. First, I will show the cool white brightness levels, and then I will show the warm white. Here is the light on the demonstration board. Let's cycle through all the brightness levels. Wow. All right, let's do the warm light. We have to cycle through the colored light. All right, that is the warm light. Uh, so you can see the difference between uh, warm white and cool light. Yeah, definitely you can see the color difference there. And many people report that they can actually make out more detail with warm light. All right, so that's a good option. All right, YouTube, we are out on the road testing this light. So you know, without the light, this is what you would see. It's zero, okay. Let's uh, ramp it up. All right, so this is the uh, high mode. Let's just see what you would see. If you like focus, there we go. All right, so if you were on a country road with no street lights, this is what you would see. Oh, you hear the freight train in the distance? Yeah. All right, let's go turbo. Nice, wow. Okay. So it's a nice night, but it is unusually cold, right? It's almost 4 a.m. and this is an abandoned road, all right? Wow, I mean, look how much it lights up. Dang, this is a, this is a great light. Yeah, we're gonna check out some Frog Creek action and the sports field, but wow. Yeah, this thing is impressive. All right, checking out Frog Creek with this light. Bam, wow. Okay, so it looks like daytime. You see the water. Beautiful waters of Frog Creek. Opposite bank, the treetops. It's flowing strong. It's a bit chilly out tonight, so I don't hear the frogs tonight, but I heard them last week. All right, well, this is this light is awesome. I mean, freaking hell. This is, um, yeah, it's just lighting up the whole scene. Really pleased with this light and its performance is just uh, pretty awesome. All right, YouTube, we're at the sports field. I'm standing in one goal. Let's try to cross the field. Here comes Turbo. Wow. All right, well, there you have it. It definitely crosses the field. And it also just lights up the entire field. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this thing is impressive. So there's, there's your uh, 10,000 lumens. Uh, I'm really liking this light. I mean, that's some good range, definitely. It's got the power. It's got the range. It's got the good looks, just like your narrator here. All right, YouTube, we're at the start of the uh, Road of No Lights. Wow, okay, so there goes, there, there goes the sun. Wow. Yeah, so that that's crazy. All right, that that's nuts. And I mean, again, without light, this is what you see, just a little bit. And the sun comes out. That's crazy. You know, being on YouTube, uh, there are a lot of companies that send flashlights out to uh, people like me, and uh, I bought this with my own money. Bought this with my own money. It costs $120 is the normal price. Worth every penny. All right, this is an unsponsored review. Is there anything you should know? Well, it does get hot in the turbo mode, but it's perfectly manageable. And in fact, uh, if it's cold like it was tonight, I actually used it as a hand warmer. So I was actually very glad that it got a little bit 
Aha. The only other considerations, you know, that battery, it's an odd size of battery. So if you're trying to standardize your stockpiles, like you're a prepper, you know, you, you might not want that type of battery in, in the mix, right? But as far as flashlight users, enthusiast collectors, this thing is awesome, right? It's got the range, the power, the endurance, the looks, and it has all those special features like uh, the, the warm light option, all the different, the whole, the color shows that that's just a bonus. Highly recommended. What can I say?